Alright folks, how's it going? It's me Leo and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my memories of the now defunct video games retail chain Game Station. Now these were, it was a UK chain and I mean I remember the first time I went to one, it was one in the St Nicholas's Arcade in Lancaster, I was down south visiting relatives and I'd never really heard of the chain before so went inside and the first thing I noticed was N64 games because this was like I think it was around 2003-2004 that time you know you're kind of into the sixth generation of consoles and I didn't really have any kind of concept of a retro game and I still have my first purchase which I got there was this boxed copy of Quake for the N64 this this is actually the state the box was in when I bought it, it's a little tatty, but there you go. I've had many hours of fun with that game, but I it was just, it was amazing, it blew my mind. So obviously back in Scotland, I went to the, there's a branch in Union Street in Glasgow, and I've seen things in there I've never, I'd never seen before at that point, like the Sega Mega CD, I'm like, what the hell's this? It's like a big CD player you attach to your Mega Drive, I seen a Master System 2, I'm like, I didn't even know that existed, and it was a bit at the back of the store, they had a MB Vectrix set up, I mean, I'd heard of those, but I'd never seen one in, you know, the flesh, it's absolutely mind-blowing, and uh, there's also a smaller branch in Argyle Street in Glasgow, but yeah, the retro game is amazing. Of course, man, near it. There isn't a branch of a game station in my hometown, but there's one in Kilmarnock, which is not too far away. You know, still Ayrshire. And uh, I got quite a good few things in there. Like, they used to do, like, uh, three for a fiver and loose cartridges. I mean, I got a couple of really common Mega Drive games, but I got Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. I mean, that. I mean, uh, well, 5 divided by 3, that's like, that's a really cheap price even then and now for Metal Gear Solid for the Game Boy Color. Uh, although the, I think the fanciest branch I ever went to was the Princess Princess Street branch in Edinburgh, which was like two stories, and I think this, if I remember the upper floor was just all retro games. Uh, oh, they used to have like cassettes for like micros like the ZX Spectrum and all that but I didn't really buy any of that stuff I mean talking about the Kilmarnock branch before I got quite a few things for there including like uh, Pokemon Stadium and the Transfer Pack my Sega Dreamcast I can't even remember how much I paid for that something like 30 quid which was probably you know we're talking about 10-15 years ago that was probably a bit too much then but it still works uh, of course, as you, if you're maybe not from the UK, you might not remember the Nemea 2007 game, which was like the biggest, I think it's still the biggest video games retailer in the UK, purchased Game Station from Blockbuster. I only found out like today that Game Station was purchased by Blockbuster in I think mid-2000s or thereabouts, but there you go, they're all... In financial trouble, so looking to buy a, a well, sell their games division, which was Game Station. But yeah, I feel that's when the kind of the beginning of the end of a Game Station for me, because they got rid of most, if not all, of their a uh, kind of retro stuff, and uh, of course they started closing branches. You know, it just didn't have the same kind of feel. Game Station always had a, I think, a little bit more laid back, less formal feeling to it, because they used to always let the staff, you know, I think wear the kind of, their band t-shirts, play their music. I, d I don't know if this was a thing in all branches, but the branches in Scotland all seem to, to, to play metal music for some reason. But aye, there you go, and like of course, uh, Game Station was decided in 2012 to get rid of the game got rid of the game station bra uh, branding 
a lot of the stores they kept were rebranded as game and basically there's not really many places now in the high street in UK, Scotland that you can actually go in and browse retro games, it's not really a thing here, I know watching you know, various videos in YouTube there's a kind of big kind of brick and mortar retro scene in the US but not really here anymore and it's quite sad anyway does anyone watching you know have any kind of memories of game station they'd like to share you know in the comment section and down below anyway thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time